Good afternoon, everyone. How's Loyalty Family doing? How's everyone doing? All right. I apologize. I apologize. I haven't been making videos. I really I, I, I apologize. I wanted to, my daughter, I have, I have two daughters, but the reason why I haven't been making videos is because I've been in the, at the hospital. I have another daughter. Her name is Princess Gabriella. And I wanted to do a live stream after everything was all over of Princess Gabriella. But then I was a little worried because my daughter is, she's small. And I'm not going to lie to you, everyone. I was worried about people that I make blogs about saying something about my daughter. And I'm not going to lie to you. If I sound careful, I ain't even going to talk about Nature Boy. Nature Boy is in Mexico. I do have a passport, Nature Boy. Don't play with me. But, like, Hassan Campbell. I didn't want him to be making fun of my daughter. Because if Hassan Campbell would have done that, is, I don't even want to talk about it, because I, I just don't. You probably get the vibe. So... I apologize, I haven't been making videos. I'm going to get back on it. I love talking to my loyalty family. I love talking to my family. Y'all is my family for real. Y'all my kings and queens out there for real. But I want to talk about this Hollow the Dawn and Matt Hoffa. That battle. Shouts to Humble King. And know who, who what else? Shout outs to Smoke FM, Sister Smoke FM. Like great, like great minds. I'm not saying that all great minds have to watch battle rap, but great minds think alike. Yo, I didn't know Humble King, Humble King watches battle rap. I didn't, I don't know if um, Queen Smoke FM, her name is Smoke FM, but. All the women I call queens. That's how I am. I call them queens. Brothers, I call them kings. That's how I am. Sister Queen Smoke FM, what? She be in a lot, in a lot of the battle rap like blog C be in there. And all we could do is just be like laugh out loud. So shout outs to Queen Smoke FM, shouts to Humble King, because they great minds think alike. And you don't have to be, I'm not saying it because you don't watch battle rap, that you're not, you don't have a great mind. It's just great minds think alike. We watch battle rap. And you know what? One time I was like, yo, the way Humble King talks, man, I'm like, yo, I wonder if Humble King watches battle rap because the way he talks is, it's so hard to explain, but you guys already know, like the way he talks, like I could tell like, okay, yeah, he, I was like, man, Humble King must watch battle rap, man. But shout outs to Humble King. Shout outs to Queen Smoke FM. I want to talk about the Matt Hoffa and Hollow situation. The, the battle. The last blog I seen about, go check it out, everybody, about Hollow the Don. Like, there was a time, right after the battle, Hollow the Don did no interviews. He just left. And then he did an interview yesterday on Hip Hop Is Real, I think. I hope I said it right. Hip Hop Is Real. And Hollow the Don is slick. Hollow the Don made sure 
that the blog, that the interview was done where he's from, Brooklyn. He was very smart on that. He made sure he was in Brooklyn. But I get it. But anyway, I seen what he was doing. We all see what he was doing. Just like I say, great minds think alike. I, we all seen what, what he was doing. But I want to talk about, yo, these Hollow the Down fans, man. Y'all is nuts. Like, yo, my two favorite battle rappers of all time is K-Shine and DNA from NWX. I love NWX. Like, I love NWX. And when K-Shine loses a battle, I'll be like, yeah, he lost. When DNA loses a battle, okay, he lost. These Hollow the Don fans, man, y'all making too much excuses for Hollow. Talking about Hollow just do it to him and all of this and that. Come on, man, stop that. Stop that. Hollow lost. Plain and simple. That's it. I'm tired of people trying to say that, oh, Hollow went and said, like, he could have went more personal, but he didn't. Hollow, stop that, man. Stop that, man. Like, you making it sound like you, yo, in the interview you did yesterday, it's making it sound like you just wanted to put Matt, let Matt have, have, the, have the win. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. St I, I'm not agreeing with that. I, at first, you know what, Hollow? At first, when I first seen the interview, I looked over it like four or five times. I felt bad for you. Because I, I, I was about to get on Matt Hoffa's behind. Like, I felt like, at first, I was like, yo, Matt Hoffa, like, bullying Hollow, like, like, yo, I'm not feeling this. I feel like he's like, he's like bullying Hollow and I'm, and I'm not feeling this. So I had to look it over again. Then I watched it again. And then when I watched it the fifth time, I said, okay, you know what? Thank goodness. I just didn't just watch it once or twice and just came out and made a blog about it. Because knowing me, I would have been like, I would have watched my video over again. And then I would have been like, let me make, let me make sure, man. Let me go watch this hip hop is real hollow interview. And then I would have watched it again. I would have been mad. No lie, I would have raced this. Now I would have kept it up there, and made a part two. I ain't gonna race it. I would have made a part two. Admit that I made a mistake. On my opinion, on your interview, I would admit to it. I would have made a, I made a mistake. Just giving my opinion. Hollow, you knew that Maltafa was coming. You knew that. And, and, and stop saying that you knew what he was coming with because you did not know what you was coming with. Yo, you had, you're in the third round. Your head was down. You took $50,000 from these dudes? Like, yo, you doing, yo. Yo, you. Yo, you was putting on an image that is making me look at you different, yo. Like, yeah, you do a lot of stuff with the barbershops, giving book bags out and everything. But, yo, you stole from these L.O.M.'s bank account? You played out their bank account? After these dudes gave you an Audi and all of that? You was just a face. You was no owner. You was just a face. And then you told on them. They found out where you lived at and you told on them. You called the cops on them. Or what you gonna say? Your girl did it? Come on, Hollow, man. Stop it, hollow man. Like, yo, you got your fans thinking that, yo, you just alley-ooped. 
you alley oop to battle the math hopper, man. Be real, man. Damn. You lost. Plain and simple. You did not know Math Hoffa knew what he knew. Listen, let's go back to that interview you did with um There's three parts to it. I forgot her name. That girl you did the interview with was you, Ma the girl, and Matt Hoffa. Matt Hoffa said, Hollow, why you keep on lying, man? And you kept lying. He and then he said, you know what, Hollow, you wanna keep on lying, man? I wasn't even gonna do I was gonna do you bad. But you keep on lying, man. I'm going to do you real bad. Like, you probably going to want to fight me after this. And we could bang, he said. When I heard Matt Hoffa say that, I said, okay, yeah, Matt, 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 Matt about to finish him. Matt Hoffa is about to do him dirty. I picked Matt Hoffa. I ain't gonna say that because, oh, Matt Hoffa went. Nah, I picked. Go, you better go check out some of Jay Black's interviews. When he's talking about them, Matt Hoffa Hollow. I had Matt Hoffa, because if you don't understand, if you don't understand loyalty, then go with Hollow. I understand loyalty, so that's why I went with Matt Hoffa. If I call you my brother, you're my brother. Even if I haven't seen you for one, two, three years. If I call you my brother, you're my brother. You know what he said, Hello. I knew Matt Tata was going to do you dirty. I thought it was going to be 2-1, 3-0. Now you want to talk about you, your last interview. Oh, I'm only going to battle once. I did this for the fans. I took all Arsenal and John John and, 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 and um, all these battles for the fans. I'm only going to battle once a year. Now you're only going to battle once a year. You know why you want to battle once a year now? Because, how, because Matt Hoffa exposed you. So now what you're going to do is Great minds think alike because I know what you're going to do. If you only battle once a year, man, you're just trying to clear your, all, all your dirty wrongs that you did. That's what you're supposed to do. But the image that you put out there is, is that you was like Nino Brown in these streets. Helping out the people in the community. When you was... Robbing your boys. And then all of a sudden you said you left LOM company because you didn't want to be part of these street dudes anymore. They had a street mentality. For real, Hollow? Hove was a street dude. 50 Cent was a street dude. That was the lamest, lamest excuse I've, I've ever heard. Come on, Hollow, man. Come on, man. Stop that. Stop making the fans, these fans, these fans, your Hollow fans. I understand loyalty. He lost. Keep it real. You lost. Then you want to talk about, oh, everything is a lie. Oh, these, this paperwork is a lie, so why you still got it then? Everything that Matt Papa said was a lie? Stop it, man. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. That third round, he spit nothing but facts, man. You was shook in the building. You were behind scenes, yo. Yo, I got problems with these dudes. I, 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 it's just, I, I, 
it's just about battle rap. I don't want no problems. Like, you was trying to get a scapegoat and everything. You was trying to end the battle and everything. You was trying to leave. You was what? You did not know what Math Hoffa was about to do. When you see them two dudes, your whole, whole body image changed. So stop it. Like, oh, I knew what he was going to do. No, you didn't, man. No, you didn't. So stop it. Now you want to battle once a year. Because Matt Fafa exposed you. Stop it. Stop it. You just trying to clear up your image and when you come back, it's nothing but blockbuster. That's what you're doing. And I'm not talking about your rhymes. You're just trying to clear up everything that Matt Hoffa exposed you for. That's why. You lost Hollow Man. That's it, man. And your fans didn't stop saying you did, you did an alley-oop. Math Hoffa, why you, yo, Math Hoffa knew this, if he doesn't do good, this could finish him. You didn't think he was going to come up in there ready? I knew, I understand, I watched all the interviews, interviews from a year ago, Math Hoffa talking about you. I used to say, I can't wait for this battle, and I'm taking Math Hoffa, because I understand loyalty. That man would have died for you. That man would go to war for you. Sacrifice years and life in jail for you. But you didn't understand that. I understand you what you... Uh, Hello, I understand. Yo, you didn't... Yo, you trying to... Upgrade and not be a street dude no more. And I understand that, Hollow. Okay, if then, if that's the image that you was gonna present, why you went up to in the battle with Bloods? Nothing against the Bloods. No, nothing against the Bloods. King on my last name ain't for nothing. I ain't trying to talk about. Nothing against the Bloods. There's a reason why I named myself the St. Tony King. Nothing against the Bloods. Shout out to the Bloods. Five popping, six dropping. You already know. Five popping, six dropping. We say the same thing. So shout out to the Bloods. I ain't trying to promote that. But if the, the image was you, you, you don't want to live that street life no more, then why did you have bloods around you? You said this in your last interview. Hello? We're going to see how over. We, we, you said once a year, you're going to go back to the old hollow. We're going to see. But Hollo, what you get, ex you, I'm telling you, People that you battle from now on, Hollow, you got to be ready. Everything Math Hoffa said, people's going to attack you with. You got to be ready for all of that. Every single battle that you do from now on. You have to be ready for everything that Math Hoffa said. I want to see you bounce back from this. You was wrong for what you did. But I want to see you bounce back from this. Because you did a lot for pe people in different states. Even you, even though you took out of them men's mouth, them kid, their, their family's mouths, their kids. You still did good in other states. You were still wrong for what you did. But you helped our communities. And I salute you for that, Hollow. But you have to be ready. 
Every battle you go into now, you have to be ready. People are going to people are going to punchline you with different ways of what my father did that exposed you for. They're going to punchline in different ways. You got to be ready for that. I want to see you bounce back. It's not because you're not in my top five or you're my top ten. I want to see you bounce back. The Saint told me and kick loyalty family organization. Hollow. Don't let that don't let that battle with Math Hoffa end your career. Don't let that end you. You just have to be ready. Because now, every person you battle, they're, they're going to throw different punchlines in at you. From what Matt Hoffa said of exposing you, they're going to do it in different ways. You got to be ready to rebuttal now. If you don't know how to be rebuttal, you better be you better learn. Salute to Hollow. Salute to Matt Hoff. Salute to Math Hoff. Cause Math, I understand that. If I call you my brother, you're my brother. Don't matter if we don't see each other for one or two, three years. If you my brother, if I call you my brother, you're my brother. Loyalty over money. Salute to Brooklyn. Salute to Math Hoffa. Loyalty family, the Saint Tommy and King, you're done. Though.